In this lesson, we are going to learn about the passive voice. We'll try to know how to make it, why to use it, and when to use it. Let's start with a funny situation. Can you say who replaces whom? To make it, we use different tenses of the verb to be, such as is, are, was, were, is being, have been, and we put the main verb into the past participle form. Here, for instance, this article plus past of be that is was then the verb write in the past participle that is written and finally we add the agent when by a well-known journalist when necessary and we get a good passive sentence the article was written by a well-known journalist now just follow the magic of how to change a sentence from active to passive the following table shows you the form changes in different tenses. The following table shows you the form changes in other tenses. Remember that the subject in the passive is actually the object in the active. In English we use the passive only when it is necessary. And in certain situations. The following explains to you why we use the passive. In what situations, oral or written situations, do we often use the passive voice?